substance map. Let's go to our material editor. And in our material editor, we're going to come down and we're going to choose on diffuse. And right next to it, we're going to go to the mapping button to the right of the diffuse color swash. We're going to pick on it. We're going to come over and we're going to choose from our mapping types, we're going to choose substance. We're going to say OK. Then in our rollout for substance package browser, we're going to pick on load substance. And by default, it'll bring us out to our substance folder. I'm going to go into texture and I can choose any one of these. I'll pick on, say, corrugated metal for right now and say open. You can see I get a substance map of a corrugated menu, uh, metal. I want to change the sample type to be more on a box. And I'm going to magnify this so that you can see it a little better. So I end up with a substance map, which is a collection of 2D texture, textures. And I can apply that then. Um, there are many types if I come over in this sample slot and I go back to my substance uh, and I go to load my substance, I have a bunch of textures. And if I go back up, I also have some noises. So uh, you can kind of go through these and look, but they're a great way to get things fast. Um, so uh, I can go old painted planks, for example, just to pick on one. And you can see that, well, you might not be putting it on a sphere. So let's change that to a, more of a cube. And I can magnify that. And there we have an old painted planks. Saves you a lot of work in this substance map.